name is James Green. I'm an artist and printmaker and I live in Sheffield. Um, I discovered liner cut printmaking about 10 years ago now. Um, I found some tools um, and I decided to have a go at making some Christmas cards I think, one year. I'd never done any printmaking before that, um, although I'd actually studied art at university but I'd never done any printmaking. Um, and as soon as I as soon as I started using the lino, I, I was immediately addicted. I absolutely loved it. And uh, basically for the last 10 years, that's all I've been doing is, is making pictures. I like lino cut because it's, it's a very physical medium. You know, you use tools. I use a spoon for rubbing uh, the pictures. Um, it's physical, you know, you know when you've been printing and when you've been creating things because your arms ache and I kind of like that physicality of it. Um, I like the simplicity as well, the fact that you can only use a limited amount of colours. I use, say, one or two colours with my prints. So you have to think about how things are going to work a lot before you actually create the picture. And you can't create things that are too complex, you have to be fairly simple with your images because liner cut doesn't lend itself very well to, to really, really detailed images. Before I actually start on the liner cut, I think it's for me it's quite important to, uh, to create a composition first that's going to work. If I was doing a landscape, say, um, a Sheffield landscape, I would, I would take some photographs but I might move stuff around within the photograph before I actually started to make the, sure the composition worked right. Um, and then once I'd done that, I would then transfer the image onto the lino. I work on a fairly small scale. Uh, most of my pictures are not much bigger than sort of A4, maybe some A3. That's primarily dictated by the materials that I use and the lino that I use. It, it is really difficult to create a lino cut that is really massive and especially trying to rub the picture with the, the back of a spoon as well. I think you'd be there for weeks if you did a, a giant lino cut. Um, but I quite like the fact, again, that the, I'm, the, the size, the scale of the image is dictated for me, so then I have to think about what is going to work within that scale. I use these quite small tools. Um, which are specifically designed for lino cutting. They're like very small chisels, basically, with a sort of a U-shape or a V-shaped end. Um, I use water-based inks, and uh, obviously I use the lino. A lino is made from compressed um, cork and linseed oil with a, like a hessian on the back. Um, it's basically the same lino that's been used since the start of the 20th century. It hasn't really changed at all. Well, the process of um, creating a lino print is fairly simple. First of all, um, I would transfer the image onto the lino from my sketches and my drawings, either using tracing paper or carbon paper. Um, then I would start cutting it with tools. And then eventually, once I'd finished uh, the cutting and I was happy with it, then I would roll some ink onto the um, lino, um, place some paper on top really carefully, um, and then rub with the back of my spoon um, to push the ink onto the paper from the lino and then eventually I would peel it off and hopefully have a good print at the end of that. <laughs>